Hi guys, welcome back to uh, have a wet barrowing furnace. So I'm just having a, a brew and uh, look behind me, uh, got quite a lot of uh, stuff to sort out for a uh, possible upcoming giveaway. I have to uh, clean on the uh, easy pod and sort some uh, stuff out and uh, hopefully it doesn't rain too long but I'm going to do the easy pod off the inside the easy filter hook so I'll be alright there uh, so I've got to uh, feed the fish first And uh, no, I'll get cracked on. And I'd just like to say thank you to uh, everyone that supported me over the last six months, so cheers for that. Right, so I'm suspecting after the blanket retreatment, it's going to be a lot of um, the stuff that was, uh, I don't know if it was dissolved or whatever, but I'm thinking. There's going to be quite a lot of it in that bottom pipe under that pond. So I'm going to get this uh, easy pod job done because uh, I think it's going to need a few purges to get it all out. So I'm going to crack on with that. Right, so if you look at the pond, it's uh, looking a little bit green, even though it's all been treated. Maybe it's because of the uh, weather, but it looks a little bit murky to me. Anyway, so I've just fed the fish. The skin has been cleaned out. And uh, so, this is what I've got so far. So I've actually got 11 bags of alpha grog, 24 uh, filter brushes. Two bags of mixed uh, uh, K1, a uh, water blade, and this this will all be grabs uh, soon. So, right, so what I'm going to do now is uh, still need to get this finished. Uh, Uh, filter's not turned off and get this uh, easy pod clean. Uh, yeah, there's a fair old bit of shite in there. So, alright, I'm going to crack on with that, I think. Let's turn that off. Right. There you go. Get this on. Bring it around. Bring it all the way around. There you go. Go. Right, let's crack on with this. Wow. Whoa. That's green. That's like four days ago. That must be the uh, left orders of what was in the, uh, the pond from when I did the uh, blanket answer treatment. That is absolutely minging. Wow. Anyway, so I'll leave that to uh, bubble away. Shocking that. Just 
turn the UV off for the uh, steady source water. That's a lot of crap. Yeah, so what I'll do now is I'll, uh, I'll just connect up the, uh, the water pipe so I can put the water back into the pond that I actually drain out of here. If I'm up to this, this is going to need a couple of cleans. Just have a look at the uh, condition of the seven stage filter. Stick that down there. Well, it's not, not that bad. So basically this will just need a clean out. But it looks like it's remnants. Again, remnants from uh, the blanket answer treatment. So I'll uh, we'll get this done while that's boiling away. Right, I've just got a glass uh, to see how actually how clear the water is, so That looks clear to me, that. Must be the uh, the algae on the, the, the bottom of the pond. Anyway, anyway we've got, got a clean going on. I think it might do a 10% change on the water anyway. While I'm doing it, may as well do it all in one go. Fish are all doing alright. Right, let's get on with it. Right, that's that cleaned out. That's been going for five minutes. Right, so I'm going to get this uh, pipe connected up to the deep water water. Right, so we've got the uh, cleaner, clean water going back into the phone. We're going to empty that now. That's been going for ten minutes. So we'll let, I'll let that empty out and then I'll purge the uh, bottom drain, boil it up again, and uh, see how we go with that. Done a lot of cleaning on this. I've only had it about a month, but that the amount of crap in that then is uh, pretty shocking. Let's see, as I did, I don't know, just looked at the water through a glass and it looks clean. Or maybe it's the cloud that's making the water look. Dirty or something like that, I don't know. Look at that, there's algae around the bottom of there. Let's get the brush in there. There's a lot of crap in there. I'm going to shoot it off. Wow. I think it could take more than, uh, more than two boils. So I'll leave that for another 10 minutes. Right, so 
so that's draining out for its second time. Crazy how dirty these things, these things get. So it's not what they've done for like four days. Well, if they are a good piece of kit, I would actually like to have uh, an Nexus. But uh, at this present moment in time, I can't afford one. But I would say, this space here, is enough room to fit an Nexus in. So maybe we could look at that, getting one of them in the near future. But we'll see. Uh, so that's as, not as bad as what it was. Let's get this brush in the here. Of this, the right side of this room is really ridiculous. Right, so I'll have to go through it again. another 10 minutes and then see what it looks like when I've emptied it and filled it up again. Right, so while well, that's empty, I'm just going to blast it out with the old pipe. I can see that guys, and just inside of that, flat coming out of it. Water in just to get that crap out. Oh, wow. 
down to that room. Going back into the ponds and fill it. What we've turned uh, out. See, there's quite a lot of crap in there. It's like the fourth, fourth uh, thing. So I'll just do this one and then I think that'll do it. Right, so that's cleaning out for the uh, fifth time. And as you can see, it's a lot better than what it was. So I'm going to uh, get it filled up and uh, get it being put back on and that will do that and then hopefully next time it's not as bad but I do, I do think it was, uh, most of that was from the, uh, the blanket weed treatment that I did uh, last week so, so that's that done Ok that's everything back up and running so there's still some bits in there but I can't be doing this all day because I have other jobs to do so just got to let the uh, pond get back up to its uh, level just blow that pipe there and then uh, that's that done for this week Right, so it's been a couple of hours now since I've had this rain and uh, it's pretty clean which is what we want so my pond tech uh, 10,000 that's no longer required so I'm not just sat there doing that uh, check the UV bowl but that's uh, gone even though I've only had it going for four months or something I think the dog knocked it over and uh, it popped the bulb so that needs a new bulb um, the bulbs are only 12 quid I think you might can get 12 2 for 12 quid something like that that's the 10,000 litres per hour pump that goes with it I'm just happy do now uh, I don't know whether I should um, say try and get that moving bed going back over in that corner there because as I say I've got the uh, bin the, the bin that's behind whatever it is somewhere it's behind that right there that's half full of uh, half full of this mixed K1 and K1 micro and K3 half full of it it's all over the place, it's all over the in your garden. <laughs> well, wherever you look, you'll find it. So, yeah, I don't know whether I should uh, get that back up and running or just leave everything as it is and just, uh, 
just get this uh, front. So when I'm studying the door open, there's a draft coming right through, uh, which will probably be picked up on the audio of this uh, current video I'm doing now. So yeah, I need to get this boarded up. But this is just finding the finding the time. Uh, so I want to get days off work. Uh, I have other stuff to do besides the garden and that. I have to do chores like, like household chores and and stuff like that. And there's not enough uh, not enough hours in the day for me. So uh, yeah, it's just hard to try to find the time to do stuff at the moment. I'm um, looking at the clematis has gone wild around the the arch now and if you look there's buds all over that and it's actually reached round now to the the jasmine so the jasmine hasn't started uh, getting any flowers on it yet but uh, it's going to look good that have uh, deadheaded these these here so that will encourage them to uh, produce more flower buds over here this has just gone wild on this side so the wild this side hasn't done so well uh, this part of the garden doesn't get that as much sun as the rest of it so that's probably the reason why that's like that, but it doesn't matter. It will get there eventually. So, have I done any more stuff in the garden? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. So, I put some slate stepping stones down here, and as you can see, I put a little bit of things there when you walk through the uh, walk through the arch. Yeah, so that's all I've done with the garden so far. Um, I'll see uh, weather's been crap, so I've just been doing uh, shit loads of work. So you can only do what you can when you're not in work. Uh, and that, that painting is only was, uh, just what I had spare, what I took down. I was up here heavy jewelry so yeah I thought well, I may as well use it and uh, there it looks alright I might even go right the way down down that wall with it yet we'll see right it's a fair bit of jack coming to the rear so hope you can hear me alright so I've got an old piece of perspex here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some flaps for this, for these. So what I'll do is I'll get a, a marker, uh, mark it all out, get it cut with the grinder. And what I'll do is I've, I've got some tight. I'll put some holes in in here, and then there are little flaps to stop the uh, K1 accidentally jumping out into this outer chamber so I'm going to get on with that now right so as you can see I've just uh, marked it with the uh, magic marker I'm going to get the grinder out and uh, get it cut out and then uh, see if it fits and then if that fits I'll, uh, I'll cut two more out right as you can see I've got that one cut uh, and that fits so the two tie wraps on there to act as like a hinge and this has been cut just slightly uh, longer, right, sort of say wider around this top so it sits on the so it sits on this lip here. So I've got two more to do and I'll get these drilled and tie wraps on. Right, so that's the first one on. And as you can see, it works. So 
so I'm going to leave you the two for now. They're already cut, just there. Uh, I've got to go and see a man about some fish, so I'll go and do that and then get back and get this uh, done and I'll show you a bit, show you it finished. And uh, there you go guys, well done. Just need to adjust the uh, tie wraps a bit, but it's all working out all right. So that was uh, just from using a bit of per, uh, spare perspex that I had. Just need to uh, give him a little bit of a clean and, uh, and that'll do for that. So there you go. Right, so I've just snipped these uh, ends of the tie wraps off. And uh, as you can see, plenty of back there to put uh, replace media and stuff. So that's that uh, little uh, upgrade. If you look down here, you can see how much crap's already uh, gone into the pod since, uh, since the clean I did yesterday, and that was a major clean. I like, purged the uh, bottom drain like five times. Uh, it's already starting to build up again. So, uh, so there must be a hell of a lot of that inside the uh, bottom drain. Uh, I'll get rid of it eventually. Anyway, so that's that. So, thank you very much for watching. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, so, thanks for watching and. Uh, like I say, it's uh, hard uh, trying to get up something sorted in the garden when you've got stuff to do uh, in the house. So, uh, yeah, I love this stuff to do out here. Um, yeah, I only get the day off and uh, spend most of the time in work. Uh, so, yeah, a little bit today. You can see a little, a little cricket fence. I made you clean on the uh, easy pod. I sorted up all, sorted up out all the uh, stuff that needs to be. Uh, well, I need to do something with it. Uh, probably a giveaway, but we'll see. So anyway, see you guys soon.